am Joshua Farnsworth. So one of the most essential and basic tools, I guess you could call it, when you get started in traditional hand tool woodworking is a workbench. Uh, workbenches, you can either make them. I've got some videos uh, from some people that have made some inexpensive workbenches. Uh, you can also buy some workbenches if you don't have a lot of the, the tools or the time to build one. I bought this one. This is a nice Schoberg workbench. You can find uh, some links to, to good places to buy some good workbenches on my website, woodandshop.com. Uh, but a few things to look for is to make sure that you find a really heavy workbench with a nice solid work surface, a nice solid top. Uh, also, another aspect of these workbenches is the nice traditional wood vices that screw in and out. Uh, this, this particular workbench, I believe it's categorized as an English workbench, is made in Sweden. Uh, but I really like the layout of the vices where they are. There's also uh, continental workbenches or cabinet maker workbenches as some people call them that have vices in different locations and they have a tool tray up here. There are uh, French Roubaix style workbenches. Uh, a lot of different styles of workbenches. So Christopher Schwartz made a really good book, wrote a really good book about the different types of workbenches if you really want to dive into it. But if you want just my advice, uh, this is a really good workbench that I bought. You can, uh, if you don't want to spend this much, how the, the amount I spent, you can get some other ones and just sandbag them down to give them a little more weight. But there's some features to look at uh, in workbenches that are really important to notice. Um, in addition to having good vices on your workbench, uh, I like to have some spaces for tool storage. Uh, nice uh, many spots where these bench dog holes are. Uh, the, they've drilled these one inch bench dog holes. A nice strong workbench like this has a good vice on it which allows you to, to pin your work in between these uh, bench dogs and plane your work or do whatever you need to do. And also the, not, the, the vices are very strong. You can twist them up and there's an, an immense clamping power here to just clamp your work piece in really tight for planing or whatever else you need to do. So that's a really good feature to look for is really solid vices. My particular workbench is made out of beech. It's a really strong wood that all the old a lot of the old hand tools were made out of a lot of the old hand planes. You can see I've got a nice uh, little tool storage for my hand saws that I just stick in the bench dogs. Another consideration to take into account is how much room you have in your little workshop. This is particular workbench is an eight foot by two foot, but you may not have that much space, so you can plan it accordingly. So there's a lot of different features that you can take into consideration when choosing a workbench or when building a workbench, but hopefully this will help you get started. And I hope you check out the, the article at woodandshop.com about how to get started in traditional hand tool woodworking. <laughs>